uh, my baby's food with fish. It's the first time I'm introducing fish to him, so I'm starting with a small piece. This is a mango curry, so it's not very hot. I'm just going to take one piece out, strain it, just one piece there, and debone it, and then add it to his food while cooking. This fish is called Mirgao, so um, I'm just going to use a small piece because it's the first time I'm introducing fish to him. I just want to make sure his stomach can take it, basically. So let's go and do the rest. I want to say, if you're um, adding fresh fish rather than um, cooked fish like I am, uh, you just need to steam the fish for a um, couple of minutes before you add it to the food, just, to, just so it takes away the smell of the fish when you add it to your baby's food. Or you can always lightly fry it on either side a minute also um, and then just debone it and add it to the baby's food um, I would say be extremely careful when you de debone because some fish bones are really um, really um, light and tiny so this is all the ingredients Thoroughly washed. This is one courgette. This is one carrot diced into small pieces. This is four tablespoons of white rice washed thoroughly. This is a piece of fish that I've deboned thoroughly. Check it over and over just in case. And this is one apple also diced into small pieces. Um, I'm going to start cooking this now. I'll add all these ingredients first, but I'll leave the fish to the end because the fish is already cooked, so I'll add it right at the end. I'll leave this till the end and I'm adding two and a half cups of water so bring it to boil and then once it comes to boil I would boil it for roughly 15 to 20 minutes um, so this all, all the vegetables and rice are soft and throughout stir occasionally uh, just to make sure that um, the vegetable and rice doesn't stick to the bottom. The food is now cooked, uh, so I'm going to add the fish and cook it for a further two minutes and then take it out. This is now cooked, so I'm going to take it off the heat and leave it to stand for a while for it to cool down a little and then I will blend. So this is blended and now I'm going to um, put them in storage containers which are these containers they're liquid and airtight and I can keep these in the fridge for up to 48 hours when I'm really busy I make them two days worth I'm not um, very busy then I make it every day you'll probably notice I've started to blend less smooth um, I'm keeping a bit more rough texture because as my baby's going to stage two, I'm trying to get him used to more rough textures and also trying to um, slowly start introducing finger food. Hopefully that will um, help him with his teething. When the food is cool, completely cool room temperature, I will put the lid on and then put it in the fridge. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.